Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, Syndicate cards were revealed. Um, you probably won't see me play them. <laughs> spoilers. Heavy spoilers. I don't know. Syndicate just doesn't uh, gravitate to my play style. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I might come around to it, but Syndicate is like zero control other than the salamander deck which i find annoying as shit so um i don't know let, let, let's check them out and see i do like this card though i think it's pretty cool um so first up is ziggy reuven mastermind he's a human agent aristocrat um so four strength 12 provisions deploy Look at Collusion and a random card from each gang from your deck. Then play one. Tribute 9, play 2. Tribute costs 2 less for each unique, each unique gang category you control. So, you put a bunch of Tribute gangs in there. Collusion was what? So you got Blind Eye, Crown Splitter, Cut Up, Fire Swarm, Tide Cloak. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's two less. So the tribute, I guess you could boost it by nine with what jackpot? Because if it's two less and you put one, two, three, four, five in there, then it's actually cost nothing correct so it's a sh just straight up tutor if i'm reading that correctly right oh it's gang gang these aren't gangs are they are they considered gangs or are they yeah if you control a unit with the gang category yeah so i guess you could turn it into a control deck because you could play horsing with this or whatever it doesn't say it is random though but i mean you could control which ones you see right because you just put one in for 20 22 provisions i mean there's a lot of options you can get here i mean but the thing is you're putting 22 provisions in to possibly pull what professor um, I mean, there's Philippa, but so you're pulling, you can yoink something big. You could destroy something big. You have the Savolo combo again, which is always good. Pretty sure you're going to be running devotion with this because I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, They pretty much phased out boat, right? People don't really run the boat anymore on the horde. You got the Roland. So you could actually play Roland and Gilbert in the same... No, you can't play them in the same turn. Well, it doesn't say... Yeah, because you're looking at a random card from each gang. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think, I think you go... You know, I mean, there's... It doesn't... If it was just bronze cards, I would say it'd be terrible... You definitely can't fit King of Beggars with all this. There's no way. And I don't, I don't know if you could fit Ziggy in here as well. That's 33 provisions. <laughs> Three cards going Ziggy Rock. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think if you... I, I mean, you're playing jackpot with it, so... I mean, being able to pull spenders, a possible two-shot poison that you could control, possibly. I don't know. I think it. I, now that I'm looking at it, it's got more options than than I thought. Because if I'm reading that right, I mean, if tribute nine, play two instead. Tribute costs two less for each gang category, so you actually gain two coins on this right if you have all five gangs let me know that's how i'm reading it but 
I don't read very well, so. <laughs> uh, let's check out this other one, uh, Bart. It's a, uh, it's an augred. Okay. Whenever you play a unit with a gang category you don't control, gain a coin for each unique, each unique gang category you control. Whenever you play a unit with a gang category you don't control, gain a coin for each unique gang category. Oh, so, so it doesn't let you double up on him, basically. So he's a six for eight that gets a coin a turn as long as you're playing a unit. It looks like he's beating his head up against the wall because I, I probably because this card doesn't seem very good. So you're playing it and you're getting a coin for every card you play. It's it seems like it's a worse um a more expensive what's his name? The guy that grabs the coins. Uh this guy. Roderick Dewitt. And it's passive instead of like you might want to play a special and then you don't get anything. It does have four armor, but I mean, is the armor relevant to anything you really want to play? I don't think so. It's not a gang either, so it's just a basic augroid. So that doesn't seem good. It's not helping your gangs at all. Yeah, that one doesn't seem very good at all. Um, all right, let's check out these other two. Pulling the strings, crime. They're trying to swindle uh, Einstein here. Um, five provisions, zero profit. Seize. Okay, here you go. Some control. Seize an enemy unit with zero or less power. Increase the profit by one for each gang category. In your starting deck increase the power or and decrease the profit by one for each you name gang category you control so off rip you could just grab a five off someone as long as so if you got if you have five if it's a bad top deck if you're going into a long round because it might not be able to pull anything but this card all right now you're getting me in you're reeling me in being able to play in Slave Syndicate sounds like a fun a fun time to me. I like this one a lot. Okay. All right. I'm I'm in. I I will give this a try now. I I you, you sold me. Yeah, I mean being able cuz you could play that you could play this twice in a row with no units. And you can grab up like squid tail units with vitality. That's huge. I th I think this card's really good. I think this is a two of easy in my deck if I'm playing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what the next one is. Little bird, huh? All right. There's Einstein again and uh, wannabe dandelion. Um, so it's a five for five, little bird, human agent, deploy, infuse self with a gang category of a unit in your deck. So it's random. It just picks one or do you get the pick? Fee two, boost an allied unit by one for each gang category you control. Cool down, cool down one. Okay, so it's a 5 for 5 automatically, and you get a gang category. So this is where that other, the Augroid card comes into play, but like... Ah, so you... But you don't... Boost an ally unit by one for each unique gang category you control. So it's a spender, so you could spend coins of two... And it could boost up to five, right? So it's possibly a spender for 
two for five, that's better than, uh, that's max though. That's you getting those down. Whoa, actually no. Oh, it has cooldown. Okay. You can, I was going to say, whoa, wait a minute. You could spend this for like 20 points <laughs> for a second. There, I read it. I was like, whoa. Um, I think it's a good spender. I don't think you put two of them, but maybe you put one. Because, I mean, they have to remove this, right? Because you, you being able to spend two, a two for five spender, that's better than Sea Jackal, right? I mean, granted, Sea Jackal, you could just go haywire on it, but, I mean, you don't want to go s super tall anyways. And you could shuffle your boosts around. This one doesn't seem bad at all either. Seems okay. I mean... Yeah. I think it's alright. I mean, it once again though, it doesn't have that gang category. You're, you're giving something gang. But with the other cards that you play... You kind of want to play them out of hand, right? I don't know. All I know is uh, pulling the strings is... Uh, is a devil driven uh tailored card for me i mean i'm already thinking of stuff man being able to yoink stuff yoink five i like it i like it a lot let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for everything you guys are wonderful appreciate all the love uh, all the comments and stuff uh sorry i haven't been getting back to you i, I just basically put this video out and then i go to sleep because i work night shift but uh, I'll try and catch up on them on the weekends, but thank you so much. Cheers. I'm drinking a blood blood orange from Duncan. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.